dear students i will continue the problems on again uh, in the same uh, uh, title linear differential equations with uh, constant coefficients and uh, still exponential uh, uh, term on the right side another uh, one or two examples i will write of uh, different variety and then i shall go to the next uh, rule of finding the inverse differential applying the inverse differential operator and then finding the particular integral the next uh, problem i am going to take up is this one solve y double dash plus 4y dash <coughs> plus 5y equal to minus 2 cos hyperbolic x but here some initial conditions are, are given also find also find y when y equal to 0 y dash z equal to 1 and x equal to 0 this is called uh, initial value problem we name whenever the differential equation is followed by the initial conditions we call that as initial value problem in the solution this is y double dash plus 4 y dash plus 5 y is equal to something this is also second order differential equation okay this is y double dash means you can write it as d square y divided by dx square plus 4 into it is dy by dx then plus of 5 into y is there this is minus 2 then cos hyperbolic x means e to the power of x plus e to the power minus x divided by 2 again this is taken from the complex numbers the case of uh, hyperbolic functions how the trigonometric functions are defined now let d is equal to d by dx then that is d square y 4 d y plus 5 y is equal to 2 gets cancelled minus e to the power x minus e to the power minus x is there this is d square plus 4d plus 5 and operating on y that is equal to minus e to the power of x minus e to the power minus x. Every step in the mathematics you have to do that in every step of mathematics what you have written this one verify there itself for, for one more time because if that step is wrong uh, then Re remaining all the steps so will take the same uh, accumulation of the mistake therefore to avoid that every step you can verify this is second order derivative and uh, here in terms of d you have written this is d square plus 4d plus 5 here that is equal to minus 2 into cos hyperbolic x that is cos hyperbolic is e to the power of x plus e to the power minus x and divided by 2 so 2 gets cancelled up to here it is the uh, differential equation in the form of capital D therefore this can be taken as f of d y is equal to that is x of x is there this is called non homogeneous differential equation with the constant coefficients these are the coefficients right they are the constants but they are not the variables then uh, first of all general solution is to be written gs that is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral this is equal to cf plus of that is pi cf plus pi that is complementary function plus particular integral now you must remember that uh, these two solutions the meaning of uh, these two solutions complementary function is the solution for differential form particular integral is the solution for both the differential and this one using inverse differential operator because this is not a differential part this part is not a differential part but this has got the coefficients uh, and uh, they are not in the form of uh, capital D but they are in the form of numbers okay then what we have to do here uh, complementary function for yc 
you have to talk about this complementary function from the left side this one let what is the auxiliary equation for this that is auxiliary equation is m square plus 4m plus 5 equal to 0 you find out the roots for this m is equal to minus 4 plus minus root of b square 16 minus 4 into 1 into 5 4ac divided by that is 2 into a that is 1 okay that is ax square plus bx plus c that means a is 1 b is 4 and then c is 5 this gives minus 4 plus or minus this is 20 root of minus uh, 20 that is uh, uh, 16 minus 20 gives us minus 4 under root minus 4 and this should be divided by 2 thereby you will get that is plus or minus uh, minus 4 plus or minus root of minus 4 minus 4 plus or minus root of minus 4 means root of 4 is 2 that is 2 and root of minus 1 that is 2i then you will get divided by 2 this is for m and finally that m takes the value that is 2 has to be divided here minus 2 plus minus i this is the imaginary part of that imaginary this is the case of imaginary roots that means minus 2 plus or minus i can be compared with alpha plus or minus i beta in this case alpha is equal to alpha is equal to minus 2 and beta is equal to that is plus 1 that is beta is equal to plus 1 because plus or minus i means i coefficient is beta therefore therefore complementary function is equal to c1 e to the power minus of 2x and cos of x uh, plus of c2 e to the power uh, that is also minus 2x and sine of x is there this is for complementary function so complementary function is equal to depending on the number of roots number of constants are to be attached number of constants are to be attached means there are two roots here uh, that means uh, minus 2 plus i and minus 2 minus i and the way of writing the uh, solution for the imaginary roots is that e to the power alpha x uh, cos beta x multiplied by first constant and e to the power alpha x sin beta x multiplied by the second constant this is done in the previous uh, chapter already we have studied uh, uh, too many problems on the application of this uh, imaginary roots solution so now this is uh, the complementary function that is uh, for the lhs of the given problem the, it is the solution now for yp that means particular integral for yp we use inverse differential operator this should be shifted to the left side denominator how this is to be operated we will verify let yp is equal to 1 divided by that should be d square plus of 4d plus of 5 this is to be operated on minus e to the power x minus e to the power minus x is there then this is equal to 1 divided by it is d square plus 4d and plus of 5 operating on minus e to the power x and uh, second term minus of 1 divided by it is d square plus 4d and uh, plus 5 it is operating on minus e to the power it is minus x so this is minus e to the power plus x and minus e to the power minus x according to the uh, cos hyperbolic function therefore so here we will see that this gives a equal to how much 1 and this gives a equal to minus 1 you substitute otherwise replace that a equal to 1 and a equal to minus 1 respectively uh, in the first term as well as in the second term denominator claiming that that denominator should not become 0 if it becomes 0 then you have to go for the differentiation and then write the next term then what is this actually that is d square 
plus 4d plus 5. Uh, you have to replace d is equal to a equal to 1. Therefore, 1 divided by 1 and a equal to plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 and e to the power uh, that is minus i will write here and e to the power of uh, x. This is the first coefficient and second one minus this is minus 1 divided by this must be 1 and uh, minus 4 and plus 5 okay this is minus 1 you are giving uh, this becomes uh, minus 1 whole square that becomes plus 1 minus 1 into 4 that becomes uh, plus 4 uh, sorry minus 4 here that's right I think uh, yeah that is plus 4 is there then this becomes minus 4 and this remains to be plus 5 this is the second coefficient e to the power minus x this is the second term and the uh, and the simplification that you have to do it for these two terms let us verify that is uh, here 5 plus 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 minus 1 by 10 anyway uh, this value in the denominator is not leading to 0 this is for multiplication of e to the power x minus okay minus uh, this is minus 4 and this is 6 1 by 2 and e to the power minus x is there then what you can take common anything you can take common no as it is you write so this is finally minus e to the power x by 10 and minus e to the power minus x divided by 2 e is for this is yp e is for this is yp then the general solution what is the complementary function is this one particular integral is this one therefore general solution this is equation number one where you are written this one equation number one this is equation number two this is equation number three then general solution is equal to two plus three two plus three equation right general solution means that is equation number one that is c1 e to the power minus 2x cos x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x it is sin x okay and uh, this is e to the power uh, with particular integral minus e to the power x by 10 and minus minus e to the power minus x divided by 2 this is the general solution and it is the final solution for the given problem as combination of complementary function and particular integral now these constant this is a general solution we call but in this problem initial conditions are given those initial conditions will help us to calculate the values of the constants in particular as numerical values let us see how these numerical values can be evaluated using that uh, given initial conditions okay so what are the initial conditions here it is given to uh, utilize these initial conditions then we have to take the general solution as it is and uh, how these uh, general uh, uh, initial conditions are given accordingly we have to introduce that is at x equal to 0 so using initial conditions using initial conditions two sets are given that is y equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and y dash is equal to 1 at x equal to 0 this these are the initial conditions therefore two sets are there and two arbitrary constants we have that is c1 and c2 accordingly those two condi those two constants are to be calculated in particular let us verify now uh, by this equation for example if you name it as 4 equation 4 that is 4 implies 4 implies y is equal to y is equal to c1 e to the power minus 2x cos x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x sin x right and uh, that's there minus e to the power x by 10 minus e to the power minus x by 2 but here y dash is there 
means dy by dx this is called y dash this should be you have to differentiate this uh, equation with respect to x therefore this is a product of two terms that must be minus 2 times c1 e to the power minus 2x and cos x okay and this is a product and minus of c1 e to the power minus 2x cos x is minus of sin x that's why minus sign I have written then this must be minus 2 times minus 2 times c2 into e to the power minus 2x and then you have to take there also product of two terms because wherever uh, the product comes you have to write uh, the differentiation using u into v formula this is these are the two terms are over now i am writing minus 2 times c2 e to the power minus 2x sin x okay and uh, plus c2 e to the power minus 2x it is cos x and minus of e to the power of x divided by 10 the differentiation of exponential with minus becomes as plus e to the power minus x divided by 2 this is the step which you can utilize for the application of second uh, uh, set of initial condition this is first and this is second so first is for this equation and second is for this equation now uh, this one if you want you can give some number otherwise no problem directly you can write that is y okay so y equal to 0 at uh, x equal to 0 i will take this left side as 0 and x equal to 0 means this becomes 1 and c1 and cos 0 is 1 because of sine function that becomes 0 minus this is e to the power 0 is 1 1 by 10 and plus minus of that is 1 by 2 after substituting that x equal to 0 this c1 this implies uh, c1 is equal to if you take the lcm here the both are constants if you take the lcm and that becomes to the left side 2 phi z 10 10 is the lcm 2 phi z 10 minus 5 and minus um, sorry uh, 2 phi z 10 okay uh, minus 5 and minus 1 that means you can write like this 10 right if you take these two terms to other side 10 is the lcm and uh, 10 ones that is 1 right and plus of 2 phi that is equal to 6 by 10 therefore c is equal to 6 by 10 means 2 3 is a 6 and 2 phi is a 10 this is c is equal to 3 by 5 then one more uh, set of initial condition at another initial condition is this one at x equal to 0 then y dash is equal to 1 so y dash means dy by dx therefore from this equation we have from this equation we have left side as 1 and right side wherever uh, x is there you have to replace that x by 0 this is minus of 2c1 this becomes 1 this becomes 1 and this becomes 0 this becomes 0 this becomes uh, c2 uh, that is with plus c2 this becomes 1 and this becomes 1 that is c1 plus c2 and that is 1 by 10 again for x equal to 0 plus of 1 by 2 plus of 1 by 2 here uh, that is c1 c1 uh, that is uh, plus of 1 by 2 right so 1 in the left side that is c1 already we have uh, calculated this is for c1 c1 is 3 by 5 i will substitute 1 is equal to minus 2 into 3 by 5 okay plus of c2 and this is <coughs> minus 1 by 10 and uh, Min, uh, plus of 1 by 2 you separate the value of c2 c2 is equal to here this another side 1 is there and this is minus 3 2 is a 6 6 by 5 and this becomes plus 1 by 10 and this becomes minus 1 by 2 therefore 
uh, 5 is there, 10 is there, mm, then you can uh, simplify this, okay, uh, 5 into 2 that is 10, okay, even uh, uh, 10 you can take as a common LCM, therefore C2 is equal to 10 is the LCM, then uh, 10 is the LCM means so uh, this first term becomes 10 and plus so 5 2s are 10, this is 6 2s are 12, then 10 uh, ones are that is plus 1 and 2 5s are uh, this is 2 5s are 10 and then uh, uh, 2 5s are means minus 5 this becomes 1 into 5 thereby c2 is equal to that is 10 and this is minus 5 uh, that becomes plus 5 17 plus 1 18 18 by 10 that is equal to 2 9s and 2 5s that is c2 is equal to 9 by 5. So, this is your calculation. Then, here if you write uh, this solution by replacing, then the general solution becomes, right, this is 10, general solution becomes y is equal to c1 should be 3 by 5 e to the power minus 2x, it is cos x and c2, c2 is 9 by 5, it is e to the power minus 2x into sin x minus e to the power x over 10 and minus e to the power minus x divided by 2. This is the solution. This type of problems uh, are to be given little importance and where uh, you are talking about uh, the calculation of the constants that is c1 and c2 where initial conditions are to be used properly because this x equal to 0 is the independent variable which is common for all the applications that means independent variable where dependent variable is y equal to 0 that is one set of values and another set of values means that is y dash is equal to 1 then you need to calculate uh, uh, the next constant that means there are two constants where you need to take uh, two constants with uh, two sets of initial conditions thereby uh, combination of this complementary function plus particular integral this will give us the final value as general solution so like this another uh, situation also i will write how this uh, problem can be solved using uh, right side a different type of uh, function which represents as non linear uh, non homogeneous differential equation as x of x then with initial conditions and without initial conditions. d square plus of 3d plus of 2 operating on y this is equal to 5 plus of it is sin hyperbolic 2x plus of cos hyperbolic x and plus of that is e to the power 2x all these terms are there on the right side how this function can be represented in order to write the combination of complementary function plus particular integral 1 2 3 4 totally four terms are there we, we shall verify and then we will simplify accordingly. Solution, this should be f of d operating on y is equal to x of x. Right side is not 0, then we call it as it is a non-homogeneous differential equation. Then, it is a non-homogeneous differential equation means uh, that should be uh, the general solution as gs. You can write as a combination of complementary function plus it is particular integral then for yc we can write that is m square and plus of 3m okay plus of 3m plus 2 equal to 0 this is called auxiliary equation so from this uh, you can write it as that is m square plus 2m plus m plus of 2 equal to 0 that means m into m plus 2 that is 2 and 1 are the factors 
m plus 2 and here also plus of m plus 2 equal to 0. Then you can write two different factors having uh, two different values that is m plus 1 into m plus 2 equal to 0. This gives m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to minus 2. These two are the values. These two are the values you are going to represent as two are the real numbers. So minus 1 and minus 2 both of them are real numbers and both of them are real numbers and different. That means one is not equal to the other. This, this you can call it as m1 and this you can call it as m2. This clearly indicates m1 is not equal to m2. But they come and under the real number system. They are not in the imaginary numbers. They are coming in the real number system. We call them real numbers. They are real and different. That means they are not equal to each other. Therefore, according to the case 1, complementary function can be written as c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus of it is 2x. This is complementary function means solution for LHS. Let yp, let yp takes the inverse differential operator utilization that is d square and plus of 3d and plus of 2 operating on I will explain this these things in uh, exponential form that is 5 into e to the power 0 x okay plus e to the power uh, 2 x plus uh, sorry minus e to the power minus 2 x because for the sine function is minus that is divided by 2 and plus of e to the power of x plus e to the power minus x divided by 2 and plus e to the power 2x. So all these terms are to be operated with f of d inverse. That means f of d inverse means this function, this is the derivative part uh, when you take to the numerator, it will become the inverse differential operator. Let us see how this individual term so that uh, you can represent uh, every term in terms of a. So what is the value of a here in the first term? a equal to as a equal to 0 because e to the power 0 into x because 5 is there it is as good as e to the power 0 x because e to the power 0 is 1 and and here a is a is 2 here a is 0 here a is minus 2 here a is plus 1 here a is minus 1 here a is 2 like this totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 terms must be there in the case of uh, right side when you apply inverse differential operator for this problem. Okay, uh, every term we are going to analyze claiming that denominator should not be equal to 0. Therefore, that is yp is equal to first term that is a equal to 0 we apply 1 divided by it is 2 a equal to 0 means d equal to d equal to a equal to all these values then uh, 5 into e to the power 0 x that is the first term right then second term e to the power 2 x plus of 1 by 2 then you need to substitute as 2 that is 1 divided by 2 means 4 that is 4 plus 6 and plus 2 that is 10 12 right 1 divided by it is 12 1 divided by 12 uh, that is 1 by 2 and then 1 by 2 5 into this much here 1 by 2 is there 1 by 12 that becomes anyway it is not 0 not equal to 0 here also not equal to 0 I claim I claim then uh, uh, next one is uh, uh, what it is minus a equal to minus 2 that is minus of 1 by 2 into 1 divided by uh, replace d by a equal to minus 2 that becomes minus 2 means 4 and uh, minus 6 and plus of 2 that becomes 4 plus 2 right that is 6 and minus 6 oh this is a case of failure then you must write 0 this is a case of failure okay uh, then uh, e to the power it is 
actually minus 2x. This is one term and the next term is a equal to 1 that is plus of plus of 1 plus of 1 uh, 1 divided by 2 this one and there it is 1 plus 3 because d equal to a equal to 1 you are substituting 1 plus 3 plus of 2 that is 3 plus 1 4 it is 1 divided by 4 this is not equal to 0 right uh, then next term this is uh, plus of 1 by 2 into a equal to minus 1 d equal to minus 1 d equal to minus 1 means what so minus 1 means 1 minus 3 and plus 2 oh this is also the case of failure yes there are two terms you are getting like uh, case of failure in this problem then uh, last term that is e to the power 2x e to the power 2x uh, that is 4 4 plus 6 and plus 2 that is 12 right that is into 1 by 12 e to the power it is 2x right so 1 by 2 into 1 by 0 e to the power minus x and uh, this is not equal to 0 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 where you are getting 1 by 4 1 by 4 that is e to the power x therefore e to the power x and this is 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 uh, that is you are getting 2 4 uh, plus 2 8 plus 6 is it not so this becomes this is 1 by 12 okay let me check 1 by 1 once again uh, this is 2 right this is 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 a equal to 2 a equal to 2 means that is 4 so 4 plus 6 plus 2 that is 12 this is e to the power 2x e to the power minus 2x e to the power x e to the power minus x e to the power 2 2x there are two cases of uh, failure all those cases we have to discuss now then yp is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 5 you can write directly 5 by 2 okay so i will take this as differential 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 that becomes 24 into e to the power 2x this is not a case of failure but this is a case of failure minus of 1 by 2 into x that becomes d square that is 2d uh, into into 1 divided by 2d plus 3 2d plus 3 operating on e to the power minus of 2x correct e to the power minus 2x this is the case of failure this is the case of failure right e to the power minus 2x so that is over first term second term and this is third term uh, by differentiation and plus of 1 by 4 into 2 1 by 8 e to the power x and this is a case of failure plus 1 by 2 into x e to the power minus x uh, means that is 1 divided by 2d plus 3 operating on e to the power minus x and plus of e to the power 2x divided by 12 so all these terms are to be discussed now uh, in the case of uh, failure and in the case of not a failure therefore yp is equal to 5 by 2 plus uh, e to the power 2x by 24 right and uh, this becomes minus 1 by 2x and d is equal to minus 2 that means minus 2 means minus 4 plus 3 that becomes minus 1 but e to the power minus 2x plus e to the power of x by 8 
and plus this is x equal to minus 1 that becomes minus 1 means plus 1 therefore 1 by 2 x into e to the power minus x right then it is last term plus e to the power 2x divided by 12 therefore this is the particular solution therefore general solution we are going to consider as y this is equal to uh, complementary function plus particular integral complementary function means c1 this is the first term e to the power uh, minus x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x and the combination of this therefore uh, plus of y by 2 plus e to the power 2x divided by it is 24 and this is uh, minus 1 that becomes plus sign x divided by 2 e to the power minus 2x plus of e to the power of x by 8 and plus of one, uh, x into e to the power minus x divided by it is 2 and last term is plus of e to the power 2x divided by it is 12. This is the complete solution uh, which comes as combination of complementary function plus particular integral. So with this uh, the first case uh, where we come across exponential term I would like to stop up to here uh, the rule number 1. Now I will uh, discuss the rule number 2 where on the right side uh, along with exponential and trigonometric function also will be present uh, that is not an hyperbolic function but uh, trigonometric function when we come across how to find out uh, the inverse differential operator application. Okay. So that is the next discussion that I am going to take up. Now the problem is uh, the non-homogeneous differential equation once again it is, it is under our assumption and then we have to talk about the general solution which is a a linear combination of complementary function and particular integral. How this uh, uh, linear combination of uh, complementary function plus particular integral is going to work that we have to uh, verify by taking this cos uh, uh, a, a x plus b and sin a x plus b then let us see how that uh, particular integral behaves. Okay. Now I will write this as rule 2 when x of x is equal to sin ax plus b and cos ax plus b right cos ax plus b in f of d y is equal to x of x this is our heading only three cases you are supposed to study according to your syllabus uh, of this uh, three cases one is exponential and the second one rule is this one and third one is one more is polynomial term so these three you can understand uh, as the application of inverse differential operator for uh, limited number of cases that means limited means rule one rule two rule three and uh, the combination of these uh, terms exponential into uh, trigonometric exponential into uh, that is polynomial term and uh, trigonometric into polynomial term. So these are the forthcoming cases but now you can study as an individual case exponential first and then trigonometric second and third one is uh, maybe in, uh, in the next lecture I will be discussing about uh, polynomial term application. Now let me try to cover this uh, uh, portion uh, which comes in uh, uh, trigonometric function application. Okay. So, how this uh, term is to be taken but here one small replacement uh, as you have seen in uh, previous one that replacement uh, d uh, by a you have taken but here you have to uh, expect a d square in the in your solution step and that d square has to be taken for the replacement of minus a square this is the only uh, logic uh, behind it uh, if you take that then trigonometric function application you can expect uh, comfortably to find out the particular integral. Okay. How this is uh, to be taken theoretically that we shall discuss first. Let f of d y is equal to x of x is equal to 
sin of ax plus b but the limitation of utilization of replacement is similar to the rule 1 uh, in the rule 2 that is similar to the rule 1 uh, limitation in the sense what I am going to uh, convince you is the denominator should not be equal to 0 after that replacement if the denominator is equal to 0 then you take differentiation and then multiplying by x outside once again if it becomes 0 again x square and then differentiate and replace that is by d square ok let us see how this uh, application uh, works in this area uh, <clears throat> that is sin of ax plus b let what is the general solution that is gs z equal to y equal to yc plus of it is yp that is equal to cf plus of it is pi complementary function plus particular integral then this gs general solution will take complementary function so uh, let yc let yc be written written for lhs that we will see in the problem because already we have written lhs of 1 lhs of equation 1 now let yp yp is equal to 1 divided by f of d right operating on sin of ax plus b sin of ax plus b here the important uh, very important term uh, that comes uh, for the discussion of these two trigonometric functions cos and sin maximum you can expect cos and sin function in most of the uh, uh, problems that you are going to work out okay so here this is inverse differential operator if you shift this to the numerator that becomes the inverse differential operator now here uh, replace replace d square by minus of a square d square by minus of a square in f of d in f of d provided as we claimed in the previous one same sentence I am writing provided the denominator is not going to become 0 that means uh, uh, f of minus a square is not equal to 0 that means d square f of minus a square means comma d square is equal to minus a square here this is not leading to 0 f of d means it is in terms of uh, equation maybe d square or d cube or d to the power of 4 or something like that plus other terms but wherever sec uh, d square comes that term is to be replaced by the uh, co constant whatever it is there for sine function as a that you take and replace provided that value is not equal to 0 this is one case next if f of minus a square uh, f of minus a square that is uh, actually you have to write if d square is equal to minus a square in f of d is 0 suppose you replace and then if you get it as 0 then the same procedure what you adopted in the previous one you have to do it okay then then uh, f of d f of d uh, is taken f of d is taken as f dash of d f dash of d and multiply multiply by x in numerator in numerator numerator provided provided f dash of d at d square is equal to minus a square is not 0 is not 0 that means what you are going to understand here uh, like you compare with the previous one there also you did the same thing d equal to a f of a is not equal to 0 here also we are doing the same thing ok is not 0 then third condition if f dash of d 
if f dash of d at d square is equal to minus a square is 0 is 0 this is f dash of d is 0 then the procedure will be continued there also we did the same thing procedure will be continued that means differentiation and then multiplication okay the procedure will be continued so this is what the claim you are going to do that when you come across trigonometric function on the other side okay so this procedure will be applied and this is similar to cos function whatever i have written here i will write it as a note it is it is true for it is true for also when x of x equal to cos it is ax plus b when you come across this uh, first is sin and the second one is cos uh, sin whatever the steps you have carried out and uh, the same steps uh, will be valid for even if uh, right side on the right side of this equation one in place of uh, sin ax plus b if cos ax plus b uh, term is given that is also a similar procedure has to be applied okay i shall take one uh, example now how this trigonometric function is going to be applied uh, whenever uh, you have on the right side that is non homogeneous function non homogeneous function means x of x is not equal to 0 okay I will take the example on this application. Solve d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to cos of 2x okay this is a simple case but the function what you are going to handle on the other side is directly i have taken the cos function instead of sine function for both the procedure is same because i have given in the note the same type uh, same steps are to be implemented whenever you get on the right side as cos function because a is equal to something and b is equal to something first you have to identify in the given trigonometric function okay so what is this now f of d y is equal to x of x here let general solution general solution be y is equal to yc plus yp otherwise cf plus pi that means complementary function plus particular integral then this is equal to y is equal to yc plus yp is equal to complementary function plus particular integral respectively for lhs and rhs now for lhs that means uh, yc what you have to do the usual steps you have to carry out the usual steps means what uh, complementary function is you have to write auxiliary form and then you have to find out the roots afterwards you have to write the uh, depending on the nature of the roots you have to write the solution for yc that is m square plus 4 equal to 0 m square plus 4 means that is nothing but uh, auxiliary equation when you are written as a quadratic equation because it is a it is given as second degree then you will call it as quadratic equation m square plus 4 is equal to 0 what what are the values of m m square is equal to minus 4 and m is equal to what m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 4 plus or minus root of minus 4 means m is equal to that is 0 plus or minus it is 2i 0 plus or minus 2i what is that plus or minus 2i that is called imaginary roots case of imaginary roots 
imaginary roots means you have to include cos and sin trigonometric functions okay so here this is plus or minus 2i because square root of 4 is 2 root of minus 1 is i and this is nothing but 0 plus or minus it is 2i this is nothing but alpha plus or minus i beta that clearly indicates alpha is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 2 these are the two parameters uh, for uh, imaginary roots that means real part plus imaginary part okay then y c is equal to c1 there must be two constants because this is a second degree equation c1 e to the power 0 into x and uh, cos of 2x because beta is equal to 2 plus c2 e to the power 0 into x uh, that is sine of it is 2x okay sine of 2x then finally the complementary function yc is equal to c1 cos 2x plus so c2 it is sine of 2x this is the complementary function uh, for the given problem which responds for the LHS of the uh, given differential equation. I would like to stop up to here then I will be discussing the rest of the solution in my next lecture. Thank you.